as promised, here's the game of the 37-0 blowout. Uh, so the gray team that's defending the goal towards us, they're going to play, but they're going to play the social distancing game of we're scared of the coronavirus. So they're staying away from the, uh, the purple German team. And look, they won't go near them because they got to maintain their distance. What the freak was that? What a travesty. Uh, that, that's just pure insanity that they would do that. And those poor players that you could tell the way their shoulders were down and um, they just didn't look happy to be there because they're, they were just probably following the rules that were given by their manager, their coach, or whatever you want to call it. So, <laughs> freaking A. I mean, to do that, and they probably know, they all know it's BS. They probably all know it's BS. So here is the Daily Mail. So I'm, this this information is coming from the Daily Mail. For the ones that missed uh, last night's podcast, the Holdenstedt squad later tested negative for the coronavirus, but Ripdorf were not satisf satisfied with those results because the standard 14-day isolation period had not been completed. What? So, so yesterday, or last night, we, we talked about this, and they were talking about how uh, the article from Fox, good job, Fox News, you pieces of dirt. Um, was it Fox? I don't even know who it was. But another news source was saying how they were in contact, someone had coronavirus, and now I'm reading from the Daily Mail .co .uk, that the Holderstedt squad later tested negative for coronavirus, but Ripdorf were not satisfied with those results. They weren't satisfied. So they're going to play that way. That, co that manager should be fine, fired, fired. Get rid of him. In a bid to get the game called off, Ripdorf pleaded with the local football authorities, but their attempts were rejected. Remarkably, Holdenstedt's first team were allowed to postpone their clash, but the re reserves were not given the choice, and Ripdorf had to either play or face a 200-euro um, fine. So they chose to play. Um, they chose to play only naming seven players in their team because other players refused. Oh, my gosh. But ensured they maintained a two-meter distance to their opponents throughout the 90-minute match. That inevitably allowed Holden Stan to run, uh, run riot and score 37 unanswered goals. Good for them. Punish them for being uh, silly. We are thankful for uh, those seven players that volunteered. Otherwise, the club would have had to face a 200-euro fine for abandoning the match. That's a lot of money for us, especially amid the pandemic. When the game kicked off, one of our players passed the ball to the opponent, and our team walked to the sidelines, hold it set, scored, but the referee booked our captain for unsportsmanlike conduct. Good. The hold and stand players did not understand, but we did not want to risk anything. For the rest of the match, our players returned to the field, but they stood on the pitch. They did not go into direct duels and observed social distancing rules, keeping the two meter meters between them and hold the step players. Germany has so far had more than 250,000 cases of coronavirus and just under 10,000 deaths. And the thing is, they probably don't know what we know that they know that we know far as the ones who are allowed to be in the know, that of the 10,000, there's probably 80% um, of them of the deaths were underlying health condition with an average of 2.3 uh, additional illnesses. And they are probably very old. Assuming it's like that across the world. That's how it is in the U.S. We don't get all the information. They only want you to know what you need to know. So you're all scared and you won't play soccer, you cowards. There will be no social distancing needed when the Bundesliga starts again on Friday night with the Top Flight's rigorous testing program back up and running, ensuring the season runs smoothly. So there you have it. It We are in a political war of we have 
those that believe and those that don't believe it's bad as it is. And this is what happens, you know, for the ones that, that uh, read the book or heard the story of the boy who cried wolf. And that's what we've heard over and over again. And when you hear lies, repeated, different misinformation, guess what? Majority of us will not comply and won't come come back to save the day. We're, we're going to go on with life and run up the score 37-0. That was awesome. Good job. Whatever, was it Rip Door or whatever club that was? Great job. I'm proud of you. Way to stick for your freedom to play. And they had, I like the fact they had the freedom to stay, you know, two meters away. Good. That's the way it should be. Do that or get fined. Get fined for not participating in the real world. We are so scared of disease. And it's, in America, it's the worst. Everyone's scared. I'm scared of getting sick. I don't want to get sick. I'm always washing my... And before this freaking pandemic hit, um, I was washing my hand. I, I'm, I'm a germaphobe. And then this thing hit. Yeah. But freedom's more important. It is. Totally is. We, we can't stop the world. And that's the way, way it should always be. Regardless who's suffering... If the hospitals are overwhelmed and the poor doctors and nurses, and, and I, I feel for them, I truly do. If they're overwhelmed, they have to be overwhelmed versus taking away freedoms. That's just, it's so wrong. It's easy because no one stopped going out, not in Arizona. No one stopped going out. For the ones that think people stopped going out, that are sheltered and not paying attention to what's going on, everyone's out. Everyone's at Costco, at the local liquor store, or whatever. They are out. They are playing sport. Everything, we, we, the humans, aren't meant not to be together. And if you really think about it, you know this to be true. And we still participate in this madness. So, anyways, uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll be back, I'm sure, with more crazy, but I want to make sure I got that video, guys, uh, back to you, because that's what I do. I follow through, and for those yahoos fight with me about um, Bobo from Portugal, he's actually pretty famous. He was a manager, too, in Portugal, too, you jag -offs, do your research. I'm not doing my research for you anymore. I just do it because I played with him and he brought his dang freaking huge freaking newspaper spread of freaking 100 pages of all the crazy things that guy's done. He's an amazing player. And yes, he was the Portuguese uh, uh, player of the year. Center back. Defender. Captain. Yeah. Suck it. All right. See you guys next time.